guys. Thanks for tuning in for another studio vlog. Uh, if you're here for the first time, I'm Ashley or Lay Spirit Designs. And thanks to everybody who has become a subscriber since I've started. I am officially on the road to monetization. And that means that we've hit my 100 subscriber mark that I needed to customize my channel name. And now we need a thousand subscribers to become monetized. And then I can start making money off of this sort of thing. So that's really exciting. And I think I'm gonna put a little um, meter in the corner of my, my videos from now on, or like the intro or something. I'm gonna put something where it can show like at the time of uploading, like how many we're at and how many more we need. So that'll be kind of fun. So if you're here for the first time and you're not a subscriber yet, then please consider clicking that bell and putting me closer to that thousand subscriber mark. So it is spooky week and I'm just so excited because Halloween is on Saturday and that means my Lay Spiritober challenge is almost over. Thank the gods. I've really enjoyed it, especially getting into the Posca markers, but I'm just so ready to be done with having something that I have to draw every single day. So even though I will not have the time off, Ryan's going to be off for like almost the entire week and I'm just excited to have some more time with him to watch spooky things. And one of our new traditions is watching Over the Garden Wall, which is on Hulu. And if you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. It's just so funny and weird and creepy and quirky and autumnal, and it's just good. So um, consider checking that out if you haven't seen it. I know there's like a bunch of stuff on Netflix that we wanna watch, and there's some scary movies that I always have to watch, otherwise it doesn't feel like it's Halloween time and all this good stuff. And I know in the last vlog I showed that I had done a little bit of Halloween decorating around the house, but I think like the weekend after I did that, Ryan was like really inspired and went out and decorated the entire front yard and it looks so good. He did it all by himself and I'm so proud of it. So I'll show that in a little bit, um, how it looks in the daytime and the nighttime because he's got it all lit up. And even though those lights shine right into our bedroom window until midnight, it's really cool and I won't let him take it down or move it or anything. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. I'm like mentally starting to shift into Christmas mode because I need to start thinking about things that I'm gonna be making for holidays and you know, getting that stuff ordered so that I have it in time. And one of those things was a really impromptu pre-order for round soft pillows and they're like, I've never considered doing pillows before, but um, when I realized that I could do the pumpkin Posca drawing that I had done, and then my, obviously my logo, Spirit, like, I was like, Pff. So here's them, and if you're seeing this on Wednesday, the pre-orders close on Friday at noon Pacific time. So you have to order them before then. I'm not gonna have them available to order until I have them in hand which is gonna be probably early December. Which leads me into my next point that I wanted to touch on. I've decided my holiday shop update is going to be November 15th. So mark your calendars. I'm gonna have um, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna have new stickers. All the originals as well as prints for the Lay Spiritober pieces will be available. Um, I'm gonna have gift tags and new stickers that are not the Lay Spiritober ones, but like actual holiday stickers. Um, I'm gonna have ornaments and customizable ornaments. And of course the pillows will come later on, but for those who wanna get stuff bought early and shipped early, uh, everything should be in hand November 15th. So that won't count for pre-order stuff. Like I'm not gonna do what I did with the fall ones where it's like everything is designed, but it's not in my hands yet. Like everything's gonna be available. I feel like there's more stuff that I'm missing. But one thing that I do want to point out though is the originals for the Lay Spiritober pieces will be available only on my Etsy. And I think that's just, I, I've decided that just to kind of give like everybody a chance at buying them, but also to kind of get my Etsy going. Cause I've had, at this point I've had two sales and two five star reviews. So my shop's doing pretty well. And I'm getting noticed and all that stuff, so that's cool. But if you plan on purchasing one of the original pieces, know that it's gonna be on my Etsy and I will make sure in the graphics and stuff that I make to promote 
the update that it'll say that. Other than all that stuff, um, there's just, I feel like, a lot going on, but also not much. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of doing some shopkeeping to my website so that it looks a little more like everything else that I'm doing, because um, I phased out the blue of my design, and so I'm just kind of going and making everything like look cleaner. I have just received the November Kickstarter Deluxe sticker, which you can't see yet, but just know that by the time you see this, you'll only have a few more days to get this one. Come on, focus. Wow, you know what it looks like. So Saturday's the last day to get these, and um, any leftovers will be in the patron-only shop. So find my link in the description below if you want to become a Sticker Club member. <laughs>
So there's not been too much going on. I'm honestly staying caught up on Lace Beertober and preparing for my Kickstarter pins to come in. They should be here hopefully maybe before the vlog goes up. I doubt it though, so you probably will see the next one. Um, but I have a tracking number and I don't know yet what day they'll be here, but they're coming and I'm very excited. Cause you guys saw in the last vlog, um, the, the backing cards. So I'm a little tired. Um, we, we got a new mattress recently and <laughs> we went from a very soft mattress to a very firm mattress. And I don't know why I thought that was going to be a good choice because it's basically like sleeping on a marble slab. So I'm very, very tired and out of it. And Ryan is currently on his way home with sushi. So I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for dinner and I'm ready to, to gorge myself on a delicious thing that I have not had to cook, which is, you know, I've been, I've been doing a lot of cooking, but you know, when you don't have to like, cause we used to eat out like almost every meal. So to go from that to cooking every meal, it's nice when you don't have to lift a finger. What do you want to drink? One's the Danielle roll, that's the Scooby Doo, and that's the Titanic. It's gonna smooch you, but put it in your mouth already. <laughs>
so you guys may have seen this trick around the internet um, where it looks like this. You know, you have your main sticker kind of set off from the others. And if you've seen like the time lapse that I just did, you can see that like depending on the sticker size, I either use my chapstick, washi tape, or this little jar of sand to like prop it up. But whoops, wow, finger, where are you? Ow, don't mind me. So yeah, it's just kind of a cool effect. Um, you know, it makes the main sticker stand out and then like you have other of the design in the background. But yeah, just a fun little tip there for you. Cute little weirdos. Hey, those little beans. <laughs> yeah. It's like she can tell. Come on. Don't get daddy squished. Clarice. Stop looking at me. Come on. Come on, you freak. Oh my god. This is not no, it's not. She wants to be on the left. Where she can easily sniff the fire hydrants. Come on, Clarice. Come on. Walk next to your sissy like a good bean. Okay, so I didn't think it was gonna happen, but the pins have delivered and I get to unbox them with you all and I'm so very scared and excited. So let's do it. I'm gonna TikTok at the same time. Usually when these come FedEx, I don't get them on time. So the fact that they're here on time and faster than I expected is awesome. I'm really nervous about the white, the expanse of white, because there's so much that can go wrong. New pins! What a spooky gal! This was one of the more popular designs in the Kickstarter. My favorite, the pumpkin. Oh my god, my personal favorite one. And the happy spirit. Oh my gosh, look! Look, this is my this is my thumb, and I have small hands. This is how small they are. She's so happy. Oh, the tinies are so tiny. Oh my God, look at the leaves. This is so light. And the bats. They're like as big as the back and pin, the pin backs. Oh my gosh. Let's give 
pour into these so I can actually see what they look like. dented but that's okay I knew this was gonna happen today and it was just gonna derail everything because I have so much to do. So before I end the vlog, um, I wanted to make a note that on Halloween, on Saturday, for the full 24 hours of the day, I will be taking part in a virtual market and it's called the Midnight Market and it starts at 12 a.m. on dot on Halloween and it goes until 12 a.m. the next morning. So um, I'm going to have an exclusive discount code for my shop and for my Etsy for that day. It's right here because I don't know off the top of my head what it's going to be yet. Um, but yeah, it's going to be the last chance to get anything out of my last chance section, which is discount stuff and retired items because those are all going to become unavailable to the public and go into grab bags for the holiday update on the 15th. So if you've been eyeing anything in there or if you think there might be something in there that you haven't seen or you wanna grab, do it then because the first, all of that goes away. Um, of course, when I do the grab bags, they will be themed so you might still get a chance to get the thing that you wanted. Uh, but if it's something like a Voltron item or something related to plants or something like that, I wouldn't sleep on it because I have quite a few of those things. Um, I, I guess that's where we end though. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Thank you to all of my patrons who help me grow and continue to do the things that I love. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a fantastic and safe and responsible Halloween. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!